Good morning, everybody. My name is uh, John Otero. I'm also with uh, Will Shively. With the, uh, he's the national sales manager for uh, PCS. And we also have John Cheney, who's vice president of pest control supplies. So we all welcome you to our uh, webinar. I know uh, your time is priceless, so we're going to go ahead and, and get started. If you have any questions, go ahead and, and type them in the uh, chat box. And then at the end of the webinar, uh, we'll go ahead and uh, get those answered. All of you are, are muted um, just because there's so many people on this webinar. So we apologize for you not uh, being able to ask uh, questions personally online. But you will be, we will go through the uh, questions at the end of the presentation. So let's go ahead and get started. We all know that uh, heat is, is necessary in using... Uh, to kill uh, kill bed bugs, and uh, it's becoming more and more a bigger topic. Um, um, we were at the uh, bed bug uh, summit meeting, and uh, it's becoming a, an epidemic everywhere, even in in Canada. So uh, heat is very important. The, the issue with heat, though, is that uh, power is an issue. Uh, if you're using electric heat, um, sometimes you got to use generators or you're blowing circuits. And uh, that's where we're very excited about using the uh, PCS hydronic heat system. And what it is, is that it will, um, you're using 8 amps uh, to generate this power to go through the, uh, the system. And so with, there's two kinds of system. There's a 200,000 uh, BTU system. And we'll go through the, the scenarios, but there's two kinds of packages. It's a 200,000 BTU, which comes with the uh, Omni Air Movers, which we'll talk about, 700 feet of hoses, a wireless uh, monitoring system, and five uh, exchangers. And, and that package is a $34,000 package. And you can see here on the right-hand side kind of what it looks like, and, and we'll go a little bit more in detail. There's also a 250,000 BTU uh, system, and uh, that is $37,000, and that includes a trailer. And we'll talk a little bit more about the trailer as well. But the, the, what happens is you plug in the, uh, the, the boiler, which is this main system here, and inside there's glycol, which is uh, similar to cooking oil. That's the texture of it, and uh, it looks like water. And it, it doesn't freeze, so you don't need to worry about that. But what happens is the boiler heats the glycol solution. It goes through the red hose into the gray box. Now, in the gray box, it kind of looks like a, like a radiator. And so the fluid goes in and then comes through the blue hose back to the boiler. So all it's doing is it's in a closed system, and it's flowing with the glycol between 230 and 260 degrees. The air mover blows the heat uh, into the home itself. The system itself, the boiler, sits in the trailer, as you can see here, and it's very quiet, meaning when this trailer is completely enclosed, you will not hear anything. It's not as loud like a generator. So these boxes uh, go throughout the house itself. And the hoses, uh, there's actually a hose within a hose. So the red and blue hose has a black hose inside. It's rated at a high PSI and high temperatures. The PSI, though, coming through the hoses is 35 to 40 PSI. Um, let me give you an example. So plug that into your garden hose, right, outside your faucet. Your PSI is about 35. So you're not looking at high pressure. You're not looking at 1,000 PSI. So you're not worrying about hose is bursting at all because the pressure is very, very low. Now, one of your questions you might think of is, well, how high can this go? We can go four stories high. Um, and the system, again, only runs on 8 amps and 1.5 to 2 gallons an hour of propane. There are some, uh, other units out there, but there are fifty to $60,000, um, and you don't get as many exchangers. Uh, you usually get maybe three or four. This one you're getting five or six. So there is uh, there is definitely a difference, and the customers who have uh, have this system 
are absolutely in love with it and are amazed at how fast you can heat up a home. The uh, PCS heat trailer uh, that comes with the unit is uh, 7 feet wide, 12 feet in length, 6 and a half feet in height. Uh, it's a double axle with a payload of about 5,000 pounds. Does come one with a uh, one roof vent, a 14 by 14, which allows uh, for hot air to escape. There's also a, a, a 665 CFM fan that uh, is connected to the side of the trailer, and what that's doing is bringing in fresh air. Uh, and then there's a 12 by 12 fuel door, and what that is is it allows the hoses to go through the door at nighttime or during your job so that no one can get in the trailer but the unit can still run by itself. Um, it does come in white and there's a, a drop down door ramp on there as well. The trailer is just uh, uh, it's a really nice uh, looking trailer, very dependable. Uh, the, as you can see in this picture here, the propane tanks actually sit on the outside of the trailer uh, there's really no DOT regulations regarding that because um, they are uh, 100 pound tanks, but there's only 23 gallons in it. So as long as there is uh, less than 100 gallons, uh, you don't need to worry about any DOT regulations on that. Um, the other regulation is you're not allowed to have trail or, uh, propane tanks inside the trailer because they don't know what's, what's in it. So it's, that's why we have the ramp. Uh, or the uh, propane tank rack on the outside of the trailer. Here's kind of an example of uh, of one of our customers. He actually used one of his own trailers. Uh, it, it, it is an option, but you do have to have all the regulations we recommend. But you can see the uh, the trailer is completely um, locked up, and so no one can get inside. But the hoses are coming out now. There's two kinds of hoses. There's uh, three-quarter inch hoses and five-sixteenths. So the three-quarter inch hoses are connected to the boiler. So those are just four hoses that come out and then they go into the house and then there's splitters and that goes to five-sixteenth hoses and that goes to the exchangers. Um, and you can see here the hoses are actually going up to the second floor to get to the exchangers up in the second floor. Um, and again, you can go up to four four stories high on the system. So how fast and efficient is this uh, hydronic unit? Uh, the PCS system can heat up 1,200 square feet home to 135 degrees in an average of only 60 minutes. Yes, 60 minutes. That's pretty, pretty quick. Um, and that is one of the reasons why our customers are really just loving uh, our, the uh, PCS hydronic system is because they're not wasting time trying to get the heat to go. Sometimes with electric heat, you can get a lot of heat in one room, but the other rooms are not getting that, uh, that heat. So now you've got to just go from room to room, getting it to the kill zone with the exchangers. You can put them at, throughout the house and add air movers to get the heat circulated, and then we can get to the, uh, that kill zone itself. This picture you can see, they, we're, not, we're not trying to get just the surface temperature to the uh, 122 uh, temperature to, to kill the eggs and, and bed bugs. Uh, we want the core, the content, to get above that uh, for at least you know minimum of three hours. And with these thermal imaging camera, you can see that we're definitely getting that into the uh, the mattress. And, and here's that the uh, uh, we're getting it way above that. And you can uh, there are options of how you can control the heat. So if you don't want it to get over too hot there we do have some options of how you can control that. The air movers that we use are the Omni Dry 2.9 amp air mover. These are a two speed, delivers over 1150 CFM. They are stackable. They have daisy chain capabilities with the GFCI outlet on it. Um, and you can maneuver it three different ways so that you can get the air circulated um, through the room itself. And the pricing is only 189 and these are available at uh, PCSHeat.com. One of the advantages working with uh, PCS uh, is that they have their, uh, their own um, in-house financing with Aztec Financial. And this package uh, that we've shown you today is, is only $599. And that comes with the trailer. 
Now, financing you can get anywhere. However, with Aztec, um, they use their own funds, meaning uh, it they don't report it to the credit bureau until you're you're paid off your system. So what happens is, uh, if you go to a bank, they have no idea what uh, you know a, a hydronic system is, um, and it's going to show up as debt. So if you decide to get a new car, a new house, a new building, they're going to see your debt ratio and they're going to see this, this package here. However, with Aztec Financial, because they're using their own in-house money, they don't report it to the credit bureau until they're all, uh, it's all paid for. Um, so it's not going to show up as debt and, and keep your credit score higher. So um, if you're interested in getting a quote or even just seeing what the, your payments would be, um, please get with uh, uh, John and, and Will, and they'd be glad to uh, get that taken care of. So I know that you might have some questions regarding uh, the unit. Uh, we're going to get those answered at the end of the webinar. But what I'd like to do now is introduce uh, Will Shively, and he's going to be talking about uh, electric heat. Will? Uh, thank you, John. Uh, one thing we did here at PCS uh, about a year or a couple of years ago was put together a heat package a very affordable, economical package that can be used basically with the power that you have available. Something John alluded to at the beginning of the webinar, that a lot of electric heat systems need outside power. And the reason I think this was so uh, feasible was that it can use the power that you have available in um, each, each area that you're going to be treating. What this package contains is the PCS heat unit that you see there. It also comes with the thermostat with two monitors that's, that's shown on top of the unit, three high volume output fans. It comes with six 50 foot 10 gauge extension cords with lit end. Lit end is very important. That way you always verify that you have current flowing to your machine. It also has one six gauge 50 foot 240 cord with two range adapters on them. So everything comes complete. Um, what you need. Also, there's two sets of monitors that we use um, that are on the top of the table that we'll talk about that help you measure content temperature in uh, everything that you're going to heat. Uh, on the next screen, you'll see the system comes with a thermostat and two temperature probes. Uh, this thermostat is what basically runs and monitors the heat output of the heat unit. Uh, it comes preset at 135 degrees. You can change this incrementally up to whatever you want from 125 up to 155 probably is the top output for this heat unit. The two temperature probes are used and it's very makes this a very safe unit. They all come on 50 foot tethers, both these two temperature probes. One you place as close to the ceiling as you can get and the other one you place on the floor and preferably not in front of the heater. Um, what these do, as they are monitoring temperature in the room, as the ceiling monitor reaches 135 degrees, it will disengage the heat elements on the heater. The fan will continue to operate and run until that heat temperature drops with, at 5 degrees. When it gets to 130, the heat elements will re-engage and it will cycle that process from 135 to 130 for as long as you want to hold heat in any room you're heating. Um, on the next screen there's two other temperature sensor packages that come with this. On the, uh, on the left there are the two that monitor the, heater, the heat output. Then on the right front this is a handheld thermometer with a five channel switch box and five additional 50 foot temperature probes. Now these are used to measure the heat and the contents of what you're heating. One thing we've realized is when you're doing heat for bed bugs is we're really not too concerned with air temperature as much as we are with content temperature. And this allows you to verify, you know, the embedding in clothing, in closets, in furniture. It allows you to verify that you get those contents up to a killing temperature, which we kind of recommend you hold that at about 125 degrees. All these systems, the handheld thermometer along with the Honeywell that runs the heat unit, 
are really designed to be out of the heat zone. Um, if you're doing an apartment or a hotel room, this is something that you can place them in the, in the bathroom area or outside the doorway in the hall to uh, just to monitor your output. They're designed to take temperatures up to 150 degrees, um, but at that point, we just feel they're better to keep them in a little cooler environment. The five boxes on the top right, those are wireless sensors that you can uh, choose to receive with this package. The wireless sensors have a three foot temperature probe on them to help you to put that probe into, say, cushions of a couch or clothing in the dresser or clothes hanging in a closet. Then it also comes with one USB. Um, it's a Monit system. Monit, you go online to download their program and, and then monitor this with your laptop or, or device. I think it needs a Windows XP or a Windows 7 application to run it. Um, a nice application this has is it allows you to print out documentation of your heat zones on, each, on all five of these units. And it also has a smartphone application. That one USB can, can read up to 20 of those monitors at one time. Five come with this package. And it allows you to anywhere in town where you're treating or managing uh, other heat treatments, your smartphone, you can uh, dial up and check all your sensors, your, sensor, your, your temperatures, and also the battery life that's in those sensors. Um, on the next screen, it talks a little bit about this heater itself. The heater, it, it's a dual input heater, which you see the multiple 110 or 120 plugs on the machine, and the bottom is the 240 plug. This machine is capable of producing about 63,000 BTUs of heat if you can fully engage it. When you talk about portable, it weighs 94 pounds. Those are 10 inch wheels, very easy to move around, maneuver inside a unit or inside a hotel room or an apartment. Um, on the next screen, we talk about a little bit about the power usage. This dual input means that this is where it becomes functional with the power that you have available. You had the option of all those 120 watt plugs. Each one is designed to pull from a single circuit. So you have up to six circuits that each one of those 120s produce about 5,300 BTUs of heat. On the 240, we recommend that is a draw from an electric range. Um, that 240 alone produces about 30,000 BTUs of heat. And it's designed to hit any combination. You only need one 120 outlet to basically start uh, to be processing heat um, with this machine. Um, next screen talks a little bit about or shows a picture of air circulation. You want to keep at least three foot behind the machine open and three to four foot in front of the machine that's open. And this is for the draw, so there's nothing that restricts airflow coming into the heater. And then the outflow is the heat. Directly in front of the heater is very hot. When you get three foot out, um, it averages about 150, 160 degrees of temperature because your temperature, your heat really is going right to the ceiling. Um, one thing I want to stress on this, there's a lot of heat equipment on the market today. One thing that this machine has, uh, it's got proprietary stainless steel heat elements. Majority of all components on the market today are wires and porcelain. That uh, those processes degrade every time heat is applied to them. These uh, stainless steel elements have a two-year warranty. And in the time we've been selling these machines have replaced zero heat elements. So they're very practical. Um, very, and built very much for this um, commercial application. And so let me take a look at square footage of this unit. In that room, um, if you can fully engage this unit to the 63,000 BTUs, you probably can heat 400 to 450 square foot area. Again, it's going to be dependent upon the most electricity that you can apply to this, the quicker and more efficiently you're going to heat the room. 
So again, uh, I'm going to go to the next slide. This makes this a very portable, a very economical, and a very compact system. This is, this is everything that's involved that you need to treat this. We have one customer that puts this entire package in this Prius, this Prius portable heat truck. So it makes this a very compatible, very economical system. Um, there's a couple little tools that uh, hit the market that help us. Uh, on the next slide, the GMS Power Box. This is a great application for anyone who has a, a dryer outlet that we can't access. The GMS Power Box allows us to convert a dryer outlet and a stove outlet, both old and new style. We can convert those to new 120 power, which is very beneficial. Um, on the dryer alone, we can pull 320 volt circuits out of the dryer to add to our PCS heat machine. Very beneficial. Uh, the price is marked there on the screen. It's $8.99 for this total box, all the cords, the carrying case. And also, it's also very beneficial for uh, hotels. There is an adapter that can be used for your ETAC system to pull two circuits off the ETAC system that we can use to engage in the, in the heater as well. And uh, on the next screen, this is our newest product that we found out in the market. We're kind of excited about this. For any of you who are doing heat treatments currently or, or something you're looking at, this shut gun is, is a, a tool that has been developed and designed that in case you have uh, activated sprinkler heads that go off, it, it, it's a very affordable way for you to carry the insurance in your pocket or close to your heat element that um, guards against excessive flooding from an activated sprinkler head. We're going to watch this video. It, uh, I think it's about a 30 second video. kind of shows the process of the shut gun, how it works. This is a blown heat sprinkler head that's, that's shot off. That orange color on that sprinkler head is randomly about 155 degrees. That's how simple it is to go in there, squeeze the gun, and shuts off the water flow into that unit. And really, it keeps from flooding occurring on other you know, apartments below or even in hotel rooms on side by side. One thing that they've estimated on this um, on these sprinkler heads, eight minutes of water flow from a sprinkler head can cause up to $8,000 of damage. For a $44 gun to be kept at your side or in the hallway makes it a very beneficial a uh, tool to keep with you. Uh, it's something you can call our web, call our uh, 800 number or visit our website on all these components for the shotgun, for the GMS box, for the PCS heat package, and for the test system. Uh, John, do you have any more to add? Yeah, you were talking about if you wanted to see the uh, this um, the electric or the hydronic unit, um, you're located uh, in Kansas City, is that correct? Yes. So they can call you and actually possibly see this, uh, 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 see this in action or do a demo for them? We do. We have both these systems. Um, the, the electric heat unit we have set up in a mock hotel room that you can, um, we come in and visibly turn the heat on. And also the test unit um, trailer package we have available that we can run a mock heat treatment as well. That is great. The, uh, an, any questions that you guys uh, have out there? Um, uh, please go ahead and, and uh, type them in if you like. Um, I think one of the questions we, we had is w one of the things that we did not add is that your wireless monitoring system is also included with the uh, hydronic unit. Is that correct, Will? Yes, that is correct. Both of those systems, the wired or wireless, because it depends if anybody you know, doesn't have a laptop, but yes, one of those systems is included in the test package as well. Great. And, and again, if you have any questions, additional questions for uh, Will or John, you can contact them at 1-800-821-5689 uh, or you can visit uh, their website at pcsheat.com. do have a uh, question. Uh, what is the lead time of the equipment to be delivered? Mike Price had that uh, question. 
The test unit itself is um, is a four week window, it's simply be, and that's for building the trailer. Uh, the, some of the components of the trailer we build as um, orders are received. The PCS heat, the electric equipment, is in inventory, in stock. So that is simply a uh, shipping. Um, same, yeah, you know, it's the same day. Once the order is received, it's shipped same day. Okay, that's great. Um, what is the time difference between the uh, electric heat? To heat up a you know 450 square foot room with the electric heat, how long does that take to get to the desired kill zone? In addition, how long do you recommend once it gets to the kill zone uh, to leave the equipment in there? You know, on average, in a 400 square foot room, it is probably a four hour process, and most of that time takes to pull the content temperature up to that killing temperature. The air temperature gets there rapidly within the first 40 minutes to an hour, um, but then we have to wait, and that's what. And fans are very critical in this. One thing I probably didn't talk about: fans are very good for air circulation. That we make sure, and it helps push the heat into all the contents of the room. Uh, so in that aspect too, they make sure it's very even. So their temperature at the ceiling and the temperature of the floor are very consistent. Um, but on average, I would put it like in a standard hotel room, it's about a four-hour window. In a standard apartment bedroom, we heat a bedroom, in it, it's about an hour and a half process. Okay. Uh, and then with the hydronic unit, uh, you can get a 1,200 square foot home to 135 degree air temperature uh, within 60 minutes. So once you've reached the, your content temperature of 125, you're recommending three hours, you say? No, what we recommend, as soon as, you know, on your five, we've got five temperature probes that we're monitoring. Mm -hmm. Most of the time you've identified if there is a cold spot in the room, it's going to show up by one of those monitors. Mm -hmm. But by the time your last monitor hits 125, everything in that room has come to that temperature. At that temperature, everything is dead. Great. Um, What's the coldest? Once the coldest hits 125, we your job is complete. Sweet. A uh, question from Chris Horrell um, regarding the electric unit. What is the minimum number of 110 connections that it takes to power the heat unit, and can it be powered with one or two, et cetera? The, the maximum? or the, the What minimum? is the minimum number of 110 connections that it takes to power it to heat the unit? Each 110 connection on the unit um, produces 5,300 BTUs of heat. On the heater itself, it, the thermostat has to be plugged in, which pulls one amp, and then the power control or the master. And the power control and the master runs the switches, the fan, and also two heat elements. So as you plug in the master, that, that one master is producing 5,000 plus BTUs of heat. And every subsequent 110 that you plug in adds an additional 5,000 BTUs of heat. And, and what is the BTU if you're just connecting the, um, the electric range? The electric range uh, in itself, that 240 produces 30,000 BTUs of heat. And then you plus your power control, your master, which means if you're running just your 240 and, and the fans, you're producing 35,000 BTUs of heat. Great. Which is amazing. So it takes the, the you know, that has 63,000 BTUs and takes a lot of a power. So with the hydronic unit using 8 amps and, and powering 200 to 250,000 BTUs, that is an astronomical amount of heat with as little, min, little bit of amps as possible, which is 8 and then using 1.5 to 2 gallons an hour, you're, you're going to get some pretty good heat on the uh, hydronic. So, uh, Will and John, we uh, appreciate your time today. Um, we don't have any other questions that are going on, but again, if you'd like to call uh, John and Will directly, please call 1-800-821-5689. 
Uh, if you have any financing questions uh, regarding the equipment, they can also finance the, the electric heat unit as well. Please give them the call or visit their website at pcsheat.com. We know your time is valuable, so we do appreciate you taking 30 minutes of your day to spend it with us, uh, and you guys have a great day. Thanks for your time, Will and John. Thank you. Thank you.